When my dad was first relocated to Cape Town in South Africa for professional reasons, I had to leave the only home I had ever known. I had many questions inside my young head. I thought of South Africa as a place where wild animals roam freely throughout many parts of the country and that South Africans' main leisure was hunting. When I got there, I was disappointed. The animals were not there, nor were the hunters. It seemed like any developed city I had been to. Tall glass buildings, buzzing crowds, and busy people in the streets. What struck me most is the multicultural environment, which gives South Africa the name, the Rainbow Nation. All my prejudices collapsed. I learned all this by going there myself. I was born in France from a mom with Malian origins and a dad with Congolese and French origins. Now some of you must be telling yourselves, all this in one small body. When I lived in France, I thought that all I needed was there, not knowing that I would move to different places in three different continents, Africa, Europe, and North America in 10 years. I felt I knew lots of things about the world, mainly from what I learned in school and that I did not need to know any other culture. Moreover, I thought I would not be able to make friends elsewhere. So all that diversity in origins was not able to awaken some kind of curiosity towards these countries that I knew existed but were still unknown to me. It was in South Africa that I started to speak English and I met extraordinary people who are still part of my life. When it was time to leave South Africa, I then understood what the principal of my new school had told my mom when we first got there. She said, they got here crying, but will leave crying too. I was unsure what she meant at first, but now I know. She was right. She knew that even though I did not know it yet, I would live such an amazing experience in a new country that I would not want to let go. Our departure was heartbreaking. Here's the thing. I probably would have been fine if I had lived in France all my life, but moving to a new country broadened my horizons and at the same time taught me to acknowledge and accept the differences in others. Traveling helped me to remove boundaries that I didn't even know existed, both geographical and cultural. Whenever it is possible, everyone needs to step out of their boundaries if they want to be well-rounded. Traveling has many benefits, like getting to take a break from your everyday life, giving us a chance to relax, which we all love to do. Indeed, it connects people and provides opportunities to learn about new and different cultures, which can help increase your empathy and tolerance towards others. Travel leads to interactions between strangers, which is likely to inspire empathy that you would not otherwise exist, according to Associate Prof Professor of Tourism, Hazel Tucker. She also argues that, quote, Travel allows people to meet face to face, face, which in turn enhances understanding, empathy, and peace. The international mindset that I developed thanks to traveling brought me closer to people I would not have met otherwise. So when you are able to put yourself in someone else's shoes, intercultural interactions make communication easier and help build relationships. It can also improve your overall tolerance, reduce biases, and even decrease frustration. Rick Steves, an American travel writer and activist, says, quote, travel frees us from routine. Travel forces us to bend and to flex. It makes us more tolerant and it inspires us to celebrate diversity. Travel opens your mind because you see people doing things that, you, that you, to, you see people do things differently than you and still get by. You understand that your way is not the only way. Learning about various cultures improves your mind's capacity to switch back and forth between concepts, think more deeply, and integrate ideas. A study conducted by the Wagner Group followed 400 American adults who took educational trips to learn firsthand about the history or culture of the area visited. The results showed that travel could alter the tourists' learning strategies and broaden their perspective of the world. Many survey respondents noted that travel makes learning come alive, sparking an interest where none existed before. More than 80% of the young adults in the survey said educational travel in their youth made them more intellectually curious, not only in school, but outside of the classroom as well. Throughout the study, participants acknowledged that while their teachers and textbooks exposed them to societies and cultures other than their own, travel experiences were what really opened their eyes to diversity of the world, making them more tolerant of others. The majority of participants described their educational travel experiences as transformative. In Imagine How Creativity Works, author Jonah Lur summarized how traveling develops open-mindedness. He says, quote, 
The experience of another culture endows the traveler with a valuable open-mindedness, making it easier for him or her to realize that a single thing can have multiple meanings. Personally, all the places I've been to taught me something. In Togo, I visited the magnificent mountains that overlook some of the most gorgeous views in the country, and I still salivate when I think of ademe, which is one of the delicious local foods. In Benin, I learned that voodoo is one of the main religions practiced in the country. When I landed in these two countries, it was enough to understand that I had to leave my European habits and opinions behind. It was a change of scenery every second. The places, the people, the food, and everyday life were different. I immediately felt welcome at, and ease with the mentality. In Ghana, I met some Americans who came to visit some historical sites, such as the slave prisons in central Ghana, which remind them of their ancestors and allow them to reconnect with the continent. Ghanaians are very kind, welcoming, and enterprising. With them, I learned you should not hesitate to fight for your ideas. In each country, I got to see the beautiful sites and the underprivileged sites. But altogether, these opportunities not only made me discover new things, but they also taught me to appreciate what I had. There are times in our lives when we dream of traveling, but it is not possible for different reasons. But guess what? There are websites and apps to help one organize themselves for budgeted travels. Tribe, Tribe Pocket or Chipcoin are both apps that, that make budget tracking simple. For the educational aspect of your trip, there are guides like Viator, which provides you with tours and activities in many different destinations around the world. But do we need to travel internationally? It requires a bit of curiosity and desire to open up to the world to remove its boundaries and understand it. But it is very possible to travel within your own country or city or not travel at all. You can learn so many things by traveling in your own country or exploring your own city to know it better and come closer to other cultures. From states to cities or close neighborhoods, there will be room for exploration and personal growth. You can start doing something as simple as talking to people from different backgrounds and origins. Getting to know them will help you not feed into stereotypes. Plenty of museums and other cultural places created virtual tours, so it is very possible to visit museums, national parks, zoos, and cities without leaving home. Listening to podcasts and world music, reading travel blogs and literature, watching travel movies and documentaries, learning a language or planning future trips are among the many tips that can help you travel without leaving your house. Getting, to, getting out of your comfort zone to explore the world is important. It is the best education because we come out of it enriched. In a documentary called Rendez-vous en terre inconnue, which means Voyage to the Unknown, Vianney, a famous French singer, said, quote, Discovery of others is something that normally shakes up thoughts. But when they are shaken, we ask ourselves a bunch of questions that make us grow, make us beautiful, and more intelligent in our comprehension of the world. My conclusion is that traveling elevates us. I agree with Vianney. So explore the place that will leave you crying. Even if you do not all have the opportunity to go past the boundaries that surround us, from one country to another, let's be curious. Let's try to learn things about ourselves and break down boundaries between others and expand our horizons for a better world. Thank you.